Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. This is your weekly oracle card guidance and this week I'm using the oracle deck called The Answer is Simple by Sonia Chaket. I'm just using one deck. I have three options. Option one, option two, which is the Shiva Lingam, and option three. I have forgotten the names of these stones and I will um, find out what they're called and I will note them down in the description box in case you're interested. But you may go down to the description box to find either option one, two or three uh, to find the timestamp for your reading. All right, I'm going to go ahead and begin. So the question we're asking today is, what is it that we need to know for the week ahead? What is it that you need to know right now for the week ahead? I'm going to give the cards a shuffle. Oops, a few cards have fallen out already. So I'm just going to give the cards a quick shuffle here as we ask, what is it that those of you who have chosen the option number one need to know for the week ahead? Oops, well, this has fallen out. And it says don't sweat the small stuff. So I'm going to go with that one. It's the number 54, and uh, it's the, the title is Don't Smith, Sweat the Small Stuff. So what I'm hearing here is that, um, well, it feels like a very obvious message, you know. Don't be too overly concerned with little things. Uh, things are not going to work out exactly as you expect them to, or as you hope that to, they, they will during this week, but it will be good for everyone involved. So it will be, it will work out in a way that is beneficial for all uh, concerned. So it's not as if um, there will be something that one really needs to worry about. Uh, it's not It's not big things. It's not things that uh, are working towards the detriment of one. So you might find that, you know, little things irk you or little things are niggling, you know, this kind of feeling. And um, the advice for you for this week is, is not to let that get the better of you and not to let that um, take away from your focus, whether your focus is of hard work or whether your focus is of uh, lightheartedness or whether your focus is of something other. Yeah, so don't let the small little the details get in the way of what it is that is um, of the big picture, all right? So if you have set out to do something this week, think about what it is that you want to achieve. And if you've achieved that, then the way in which you'd go, you go about achieving it or the way in which it unfolds along, you know, along the way is actually not so, it's not to be bothered about. Don't worry about that. Okay, so that is the message for you for this week. I'm just going to um, choose one other card here because I feel that I should. I feel that there's more than one message for you. Those of you who've chosen number one. And I've gotten this one here. It's kind of just popped out. So let's see what this is. It says decide the outcome. Well, that's basically what I was saying, right? So it's decide the outcome. It's don't sweat, sweat the small stuff and decide the outcome. All right, so I hope you can see that here. And um, basically, uh, this is what I meant. You know, I think what you need to do is decide the outcome before you've actually uh, before you've actually, you know, decide to go in, into this thing, before you actually embark upon this, decide the outcome. And because you know what the outcome is going to be, it's going to be easier for you to sweat, uh, to not sweat the small stuff. So I'm giving you an example, right? Uh, just as a, a kind of once-off example. Let's just say that you are going on a trip somewhere and the outcome is to actually have just a good fun, a time and just to enjoy yourself or just to relax, well then, don't be upset with the with the bedding of the uh, of the hotel or the place that you're going to stay at. And don't be upset with the noise that you might hear on the um, you know coming from the outside when you're wanting to to rest. Just decide that you're going to be happy and that you're going to have a good time, and then be so. And don't let the small things get in the way of it. So yeah, that example may not apply to every one of you, but I'm sure that you can get the gist of what I'm trying to say uh, from that example. So I hope that's been useful for you, for those of you who've chosen this particular stone right here. That goes rolling. And just so that you get a better look at it. I shall uh, leave a, um, a message 
uh, of the, uh, sorry, I will leave uh, the name of the stone in the description box. Okay, well, thank you very much for those of you who've chosen this one. And I hope that uh, you have a week in which uh, you don't have to sweat the small stuff and that uh, your outcome is decidedly as you wish it to be. Okay, so moving on uh, to the option number two, which is the Shivalingam. Um, what is it that you need to know for today? What is it that you've come here to hear? What is it that you need to hear at this moment? I'm just going to try and shuffle these cards under this camera. It's actually uh, not much space here between the camera and the table. Uh, I ought to actually remove it. I'm just going to shuffle it off screen for a moment and then bring it onto screen to, to choose a card so you see the process. Okay. I'm getting cards flipping out the whole time. So I'm just going to bring it out here and see if we can choose a card. And I feel that there's this one here that's wanting to come out. And it says, thank God. And one of the cards that actually popped out uh, a second ago while I was shuffling it on off screen was um, something also about God, like talk to God or something like that. And so uh, this one feels like it's quite resonant with the other one, with the message that, that the other one had as well. So... Um, with this one, I feel that there's definitely an element here in which one needs to consider more than what one has. So you might be having a miserable time right now. You might be going through many challenges, not being able to find a way out of it. And or even if you're not going through a, a miserable time, even if you're having a jolly good time, I think it's important for you to recognize that it's uh, your relationship with yourself has everything to do with your relationship with um, the way in which you live your life, the way in which you receive the comforts that you have in your life, your relationships, etc. And it's it's the individual, it's the it's you, right? And it's your perception of the world that allows you to actually appreciate the world, or to be, or to feel um, as a victim of your circumstance, so to say. So here, what I'm hearing is that what this card is about, about thanking God, it's about you coming to terms with your reality and being grateful for what you have. It's like basically saying, uh, well, I'm grateful for who it is that I am and how it is that I am. And I'm grateful for the challenges that I have in my life. And I'm grateful for the things not going the way I wanted them to go, because there's, you know, a way in which this is all going to work out for the betterment of all. And even if you don't believe in in God or you don't actually have some kind of um, idea about a greater universal force or power, um, the, the, the meaning and the message of this card uh, doesn't hang upon that, that you believe in God, but rather it asks you to really feel grateful for what you have and and how you come to terms with yourself about what it is that you have, about the lot that you've been given in, in this life, about what you've been experiencing at this moment. And so, yes, you may think that I have nothing to thank, uh, to be thankful for right now. I'm really upset about this or that or whatever, depending on your circumstances, of course. But um, what I'm hearing here is that this is less uh, to do with... Uh, the others. This is only to do with yourself and with your relationship with yourself. And in thanking God, basically what you're doing at this moment is you recognizing your ability to be able to look at the situation in a different light and to be able to consider it in a, in a light which is more favorable for your well-being and therefore allowing yourself to um, to to change the way in which you look at it to, to and to be able to invite these circumstances into your life. And as you're able to do that, what you feel is a, a greater sense of empowerment and a greater sense of control over your life. And as you are able to experience that greater sense of control or power in your life, then you are able to understand that you have this power to manifest what it is that you truly desire and that you are you are surrendering um, to the situation as it is. But at the same time, you have the power to manifest and to control your destiny. And so I think that that is what this is about. You know, it's about it's about thanking the, uh, the uh, God or thanking yourself, thanking yourself for for choosing the perspective that you've chosen and allowing yourself 
to look uh, wider, to look uh, further than you've been looking uh, thus far. Okay, I, I'm also really drawn here to the five, five, uh, so like it's the number 10, which is, um, comes down back to the number one numerologically. And I feel that this, this sense, this number one, you know, it's very much about you once again in your, your, your experience with yourself, you, uh, your, yourself, you know, you as the individual. And I feel that this, you know, if you are struggling with this, I feel that one of the things that will help you this week is meditation. So actually just spending a bit of time with yourself and just thinking about what it is that you have before you. And you also, you know, just trying to observe what kind of thoughts come to your mind and, and how this is impacting you, how, what, uh, what thoughts, yeah, how, what um, impact your thoughts have on your life ultimately. And coming into a meditative space, not, not to punish yourself and not to be hard on yourself and not to to actually um, think too deeply about what it is that you feel, but coming into a meditative space in order to feel the lightness uh, that you have within you, to be able to access this lightness of being. And I feel that this actually allows you to not have to mourn what has left you or what you, you know, here there's this, there's this ship that's going away and then this, this man who is kind of looking like he's stranded on this island and, and you know, he's trying to, He's trying to send a message out, um, hoping to be to be uh, to be rescued. Or the ship is coming to him, and he's hoping to be rescued, and therefore he's thanking God. But at the other, you know, what I'm saying is that you actually need to to be thankful, regardless of your circumstances, regardless of your perspective, and regardless of what you think uh, will happen as a result. Of your circumstances. So stop trying to look too far into the future. Stop trying to think about the next day. Be in this moment. Recognize what you're feeling in this moment. Feel the gratitude for whatever it is that you have at this moment, you know. And if that's difficult, and then think about very basic things. Think about the fact that you're still breathing right now, that your heart is still beating, and be grateful for the processes in your body which are taking place more efficiently than if you were not living at this moment. So I hope that has been, it sounds a little bit bleak, but I hope that this message has been helpful to you. It's basically, you know, it comes down to gratitude. And um, if it does help you, perhaps to use a gratitude journal or to be able to think uh, in terms of being grateful uh, or to adjust your thought patterns, uh, along the lines of, of gratitude, then that is what you, how you'll be able to get through this week and what will really help you to to get beyond the challenges that you may face at this moment. And uh, for some of you, I feel these are quite internal channel, uh, challenges. It feels like there's depression here. That it feels like you, you're really sad about something, like you're mourning. Um, and uh, the way in which to, to get through this right now is simply to thank God. Okay. All right. Well, I hope that has been helpful. And I'm going to move on to the next one here now. So for those of you who've chosen the third stone, it is this one here. Once again, I don't remember the name of it, but I'm going to look, take a look at it uh, a bit later and I'll come back to you with that. I'm just going to shuffle the cards off screen because I've positioned the the camera very close to the uh to this desk today um because i my lighting is not very very good today okay so a couple of cards are already poking out i'm just going to continue shuffling that feels adequate so i'm just going to give it a shuffle here on screen and there we are. Okay, so it tells me that you are not afraid. And it's a number 10, which is like your number one. Somehow I feel this card is related somewhat to the card that uh, preceded this one. So, you know, one of the things that I'm getting here is that the way in which you see yourself is not accurate. The way in which you see yourself as you go through this life is not real. So maybe one of the things that you could do uh, as an exercise is simply to take a moment and see yourself or try to see yourself as others do 
Try to be real with yourself. Try to be true to yourself. Try to be honest with yourself about what it is uh, that you truly are. You know, you may be underestimating yourself. You may be thinking of yourself in terms that are, are not kind. Um, if you have difficulty with this, ask a friend or ask a, a parent or a sibling or somebody who cares about you, somebody who really has your best interests at heart to actually tell you what some of your better attributes are and focus on that and try to see yourself in that way. And at first, when you actually, when you receive this information, you receive this news, you may be surprised or you may not believe it. But I'm what I'm hearing here is that you need to see yourself in a light that's slightly different from the way you see yourself right now. You've been underestimating yourself, you've been belittling yourself and you've not been giving yourself a chance. And therefore, you imagine that you ought to be you, you don't have the courage to actually go on or you ought to be uh, more hesitant or more cautious. But what I'm hearing here is that you can go ahead and do what it is that you've been wanting to do. And there's nothing standing in your way. It's only your own thoughts that are standing in the way. And it's your own beliefs about yourself. And if you actually adjust the belief that you have about yourself, then you will be able to go ahead and you won't allow fear to have such a an important role to play in your life. So what I'm hearing here is stop looking at yourself in, in these terms um, of which you are, you know, you can't face this or this is, oh, apologies for shaking the camera. Um, yeah, stop looking at yourself, in, you know, in terms of, of oh, pardon that again. Um, let me st try again. So stop looking at yourself in terms of, of being not able to or uh, un, uh, or not having enough resources or not having whatever it is, you know. Stop seeing yourself in the negative, but, but give yourself a chance to see things in the positive and you're going to find that you will be far more relieved and you'll find that the path ahead is far easier if you just give yourself that chance. So, um, yeah, that, that is actually, so actually at the end of it, what you'll find is that you're not really afraid, you know, you're not really afraid that you have all that it takes and it's all within you and you don't need to see yourself as this person, you know, this little person in the face of all these things. You are actually, uh, you can look at your situation in the eye and you can deal with it directly and whether this is to do with love or whether this is to do with um, whatever else around you. Um, you know, your your personal development or your work situation or family situation. See yourself as being equal to the situation. See yourself looking into the eye of this problem that you have or this challenge that you have or the situation as it is and deal with it in that way. Don't see it as being bigger than you um, because ultimately the way in which you see it anyway is just an illusion. It's just your perception of things. So also your perception briefly um, just slightly in order to be able to make this vision that you that's before you uh, slightly more palatable than it is at this moment. So I hope that's been useful, that very specific message. And I wish you a fabulous week ahead. Uh, may you go on and uh, conquer whatever it is that you need to conquer. And may you um, find you know your way with much ease. Okay, many blessings from me and uh, blessings abound from Kismet Rising. Lots of love.